Today I'll mostly be talking about the sheep's head. So it's come to my attention that some people think that you have to pay for the YouTube channel. No, not at all. It's free. You can just go down and subscribe below and hit the bell button. You'll be notified when I put out new stuff. It's absolutely free. There's nothing to pay for. 70% of you guys haven't subscribed. So go on, come and join us. It's fun. <laughs> A few more people here this week than last week. Last week we were way over on the other side over there, out at the Three Castle Head. It took us about half an hour or so to get a parking spot. We're here at just after noon, so if you're coming out here, make sure you're ready to have some wait time before you can actually park. Suitable for reasonably fit walkers, the loop walk at the Sheep's Head takes you along the sea sprayed cliff tops and through rough and rocky terrain. The route starts from the car park and continues along the road. Across the Manus Bay to the left, the Three Castle Head can be seen seven kilometers away, stretching westward into the Atlantic. Soon the path crosses a little ridge and descends into an ancient stone wall, leading the eye towards the tiny reed fringed Loch Akeen. So we're just about as far west as you can possibly get in Ireland right now. We're on the end of the Sheep's Head Peninsula and right behind me here are the cliffs down to the Atlantic Ocean. So the next head and just to the north of the Sheep's Head that you can see right there is the Bear Peninsula and just to the south right behind there is the Mizzen Head where we were last week at the Three Castle Head, just up there. The Irish Defence Forces established a coast watching service in the run up to World War II. While the state remained neutral between 1939 and 42, 83 lookout posts were constructed in strategic points every five to 15 miles along the Irish coastline and where local volunteers, coast watchers, were responsible for the monitoring of the Irish coastline for activity at sea. After the hostilities ended, most of these buildings and signs were abandoned and some were removed. Traces of a significant number of them remain in place and some of them are in relatively good repair. Structures in more isolated locations have tended to remain in place, such as the sheep's head.
So the Sheep's Head Peninsula is the second peninsula up from the furthest south, which is the Mizzen Head. So the Mizzen Head to the south, Sheep's Head Peninsula, and the Barra to the north. It's about two hours drive from Cork City, and it's about a two kilometer walk from the end of the road and the car park, which takes quite a bit of time to get a position in, out to here. Well, you should warn people about the King Road, that it's one lane, Well, it's not okay. okay. Up and down, it's narrow, you have to find space. So just like every other road in the whole country? No, certainly no. rough path leads down to the tip of the sheep's head to reach the tiny lighthouse. This is a modern installation erected in the 1960s to assist in the safe passage of the giant oil tankers using the then newly built Gulf Oil Terminal at Whitty Island. way to the north comes into view now. In the foreground is Bear Island and behind it is the Bear Peninsula. Well, this appears to be the third sunny day in a row in Kinsale. That's bringing up my spirits a little bit. If anyone's feeling a little bit down in the dumps because of all of this stuff, uh, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me. My email address is in the About section if you need a chat or if you just need a, even a question answered or anything else. If you do want to help me out, you can come and join my Patreon. Also, I have my Amazon shop, which if you're in the UK or anywhere in Europe, please go in through my Amazon shop. That would be absolutely fantastic. I would love that. Maybe uh, let me know in the comments what, what else you'd like to see on the channel, other than the travel stuff and the music stuff. If there's anything else you want me to do, let me know and I'll try and uh, try and get around to it. Um, I've got a lot more time on my hands. <laughs>